Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about courtship behavior confusion in two termite species. Congeneric species that live in St. Patrick, which means that they live on the same territory, may have evolved various mechanisms that maintain reproductive isolation among species. However, with the spread of invasive organisms, some species that evolved originally in allopatry can now be found outside their native range and may have the opportunity to interact. Coptotermis formosanus is an Asian termite from mainland China and Taiwan, which arrived in Florida, USA, in the 70s, while Coptotermis gastroi is a termite which arrived in Florida from Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines in the 90s. We observed that the swarms of both species overlapped since 2013. You can see on this map of South Florida where both species can be found, either alone in yellow for Formosanus and in red for Gestroy, or together in blue. In termites, the flight of the elates is commonly followed by deelation, which means that the termites remove their wings, and by courtship. This courtship consists of the calling and the tandem behaviors. The calling behavior is often characterized by the female raising her abdomen, like on this picture, and exposing some glands secreting a sex hormone in order to attract a male. After pairing, the two imagos exhibit a tandem behavior in which the male follows the female in search of a suitable nesting site. In places in South Florida where both species can be found, we could observe simultaneous dispersal flight events and heterospecific matings. We did not find any hybrid colony in the field, but it is possible to create them in the lab. Interestingly, in choice test, we can see males of gastroi that prefer to follow females of Formosanus rather than females of their own species. We were quite curious about it, and therefore we decided to study the sex pheromone of these two termites and their reproductive strategies using microscopy, chemical analysis, and behavioral tests. First of all, here is the histology of the target glands of the ninth and the 10th targites of the females of Formosanus on the left and Gestroy on the right. We can see that Formosanus has two target glands showed by the arrows, which are approximately three times the size of the two target glands in Gastroy. Let's start now with the chemical analysis. Chemical analysis of target gland dissections showed that both species have a major peak. This is the arrow you can see here. We injected in GCMS dodecatrienol, compound already known as a termite pheromone. And we saw that it comes out exactly at the same time than the major peak. The mass spectrum of the decatrinol, DTE, is also identical to that of the detective compound, which confirms its identity. Moreover, we have quantified the decatrinol. There are about 128 picograms in Formosanus and only 14 in Gastroy. We did behavioral tests with two different systems. The first consisted in putting three males of gastroi in a petri dish with two small pieces of paper impregnated with different solutions. The contact time of the termites with these papers was measured. Here are the results. You can see the amount of time spent in contact with the control on the left and with the papers impregnated with DTE on the right. Males of gastroi were more in contact with a paper impregnated with DTE at concentration of one picogram and above and in contact with the control. However, there was no preference when the concentration was less than one picogram when compared to the controls. Males of gastroi aggregated more on the target glands of 
gestural females than on controls. When, mal, when males had the choice between dodecatrienol and tiger gland extract, there was no preference when the dodecatrienol concentration was 10 picograms. This suggests that the amount of dodecatrienol in the tiger glands of gastroi is about 10 picograms, which corroborates the estimate made by chemical analysis. Gastroi males had a preference for the tiger glands extract of Formosanus over those of their own species. On the other hand, there was no preference if 100 picograms of dodecatrienol were added to the tiger glands extract. This suggests that there is about 100 picograms more dodecatrienol in the Formosanus glands than in the gastro glands, which again confirms the amounts estimated by chemical analysis. Distance olfactory bioassays were also done. And we put males in one chamber, and they had the choice between two other chambers after walking eight centimeters. You have from left to right the samples from the chamber one, XN used as a control in chamber two, the number of termites tested, 30, the number of termites which shows the chamber one, and finally, the number of termites which shows the chamber two. You can see that gastrol males chose, chose the chamber with the decatrinol when the concentration was equal to or higher than 100 picograms. Males also preferred a group of five females of their species rather than a group of five males of their species. On the other hand, the males of gastroi chose the group of females of Formosanus rather than the group of females of their own species. Now let's see with Coplotermis Formosanus. Bioassays done with males of Formosanus show the preference for the decatrienol from one picogram. On the other hand, males had a clear preference for a group of females of their own species rather than a group of females of the other species. In conclusion, this study showed that dodecatrienol is a sex hormone of the two species of cryptotermis, and it is released by the tiger glands. It works by contact and possibly at short distance. It is used to initiate and maintain the tandem, but not to meet a sexual partner at long distance. Unlike other termite species, cryptotermis do not rely much on this sex hormone, but more on massive swarmings, as you can see on this picture. The imagos aggregate on tree trunks by thousands and run very quickly over the bark until they meet a potential mate. Potential mate. When they have the choice, males of both species preferentially engage in tandem behavior with females of Formosanus because of the higher amount of the decatrinol they perceive. There is no species specificity. This phenomenon has already been detected in other termite species, like for example, in the sympatric termite species Ptodacontotermis spiniger and militaris. They have the same sex hormone, but the specificity of the mating behavior is ensured by the dispersal flights occurring at different times of the season. The situation is different in Gastroi and Formosanus since they have, since they became St. Patrick in Florida very recently, but also in a few other geographical areas that you can see here. They have overlapping dispersal flights with no isolation mechanism in place. We can therefore expect to see in the future the establishment of hybrid colonies in nature. I would like to thank all the people who allowed this work to be done, all the grants and labs, and of course, the organization committee and the scientific committee following me to present these results. Thank you very much.